guys. Just called 21 here. Today I'm bringing you guys a very important video which I think everyone needs to know about because one of my friends are having trouble deciding between the two shooters and uh yeah so I'll be right back. Now I'll be, for the same thing, I'll be comparing the game modes and the exclusive game modes that are only on it. So without further ado, let's jump right into this. And um, so as we get started, we're going to start with the Halo 5 side. Now the Halo 5 side, we're going to start with campaign. So on Halo 5, it has a decent campaign. I've heard a decent campaign. Not the best campaign they've ever seen, but they said it's still a campaign, so they'll have it if they want. And, uh, yeah, guys, so the gameplay you're watching in the back is, um, Dead Ops Arcade and uh, they um the Xbox One just got updated today and it's brought all the new gobble gum stuff like that but uh, like it hasn't brought the map but like the lead board leaderboards for the map are already up so it's probably come I can't wait for it to come out so I can record to you guys as much gameplay as possible now guys don't know now let's go to Halo, our black ops 3 side black ops 3 has the best campaign in my like amazing campaign in my opinion but triarch always does good with their campaigns they could probably make the worst game this campaign actually good and here's why I believe that. I believe that because of a uh, simple fact. Just that, um, Black Ops 3's can't. I enjoyed Black Ops 2 campaign a lot. Kept me, like, wanting more. So, Black Ops 3 campaign, I haven't played much of it, but the parts I have played are really fantastic. Uh, I've been playing mostly zombies because, you know. And, uh, yeah, so if you guys are probably wondering how am I switching f from first person to third person. And I was just taken down by a piece of electricity. I should have been more careful, but... Anyways, guys, let's not do that, but I might as well show you guys the title screen. Dead Ops Arcade survived it. You made it to round seven. So, uh, yeah, let's actually just quit game. And, uh, yeah, so, we're gonna play some, so I'm just gonna talk in the menu for a little bit, and new items were added today, uh, if you guys didn't know, and later I literally had to bring you CUDA gameplay, because of my f friend, he said, or not CUDA gameplay, CAN44 gameplay, because he wants me to bring him that new ice camo, which I'll show off in some zombies, or maybe some multiplayer I don't know when I'll record it. Whenever I have the chance to record it, I will. But, yeah. So, I don't know if I'll be doing another ARC episode today. I might. But, yeah, you can, it literally has its own, this is a new menu. And, uh, I'll sh I'm pretty sure I could show this since it's already out. See if you go to press the start button, go to barracks, and go to this. Uh, and uh, 
if we go to Gobblegum, you can see all the new Gobblegum down here. So let's go. So there's the undead man walking. Sword play, which we already had. Head trauma, which is new. And this thing, which I'm guessing it spawns a death machine. Crawl space, which turn I know turns all the zombies into crawlers. And that was already added. That was already added. That was already in the game. This so nothing right here. So you're like, oh, that's not much. But if you go over here to Rise and Drahas right here, look. And also, guys. But sorry, let's get back on topic. Multiplayer. I think I'm gonna have to give this side Call of Duty. Mainly because of its fast pace and, um, yeah, and the more maps it has, including Nuketown. Now we're gonna have to go for it like other games, like other game modes. Now, that this one, I'm pretty sure Halo 5 has like fight or fight, but we have zombies. This is, this is Call of Duty has zombies. Halo can't ever top that, and uh, yeah, so. As always, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you smash the like button, and I'll see you guys next time.